chopper. That is what you're supposed to do, for the record. I'm, I am kidding. But uh, anyway, uh, let's get to the news, okay? Oh, before we get to the news, sorry. Alex Jones is being sued, which is also news. But um, the Alex Jones, the Alex Jones Sandy Hook case is, is live and alive. And you know, <sighs> I'm not going to do that. I was going to make a Felix style joke. Felix made this exact same joke on Chapo. About how, you know, it's a controversial point. You know, some people agree with what he did. Some people don't. <laughs> but he is, he is a, he is a true entertainer. Uh, if, if only he wasn't such a fucking freak bitch. Okay. But let's hear what he has to say here. So I'm almost done here. So, uh, you pretend to be a journalist. And you want to look at people like me so you can say you're the good guy. I think I think you're on trial, though, right? For not having... No, the corporate media is on trial, and so is the rigged judiciary here. Damn, fucking own, dude. Look at that. Whoop! That's, that is straight up, straight up fucking ninjutsu right there. He did, he did kung fu on his ass, dude. Mental, mental kung fu. He said, I'm not on trial. Corporate media is on trial. Boom. You just activated my trap card. But you literally no, no, no. today are no. on trial. No, you are Just on to trial. clarify. You are on trial. I'm not. You're on trial. Okay. In his mind. Failed Soros propped up. It's kind of wild, bro. You know this man's a D-Gen. Okay, look at him twirling that little sig. Look at it. Look at the little sig twirl right there. In his mind. That's like, that's next level shit. You do that when you're like, when you're just a fucking addict. Okay. Failed Soros propped up corporate media. All right. You're nothing but a pirate. All right, Ray, talk. It'd be so cool if Alex Jones went home every night, took a deep breath, and talked in a normal speaking voice, which sounds like Lindsey Graham or something. Yeah. It's like, ah, all right, I'm finally done. I'm finally done with this bullshit. We have similar questions. Uh, there was some confusion about when. Bullshit. Just litters casually? Come on, bro. He's fucking smoking cigs. Nick Mullins on Alex Jones. Oh, I already saw this. In a hundred years, people are going to look back on Alex Jones and it's going to be like Mozart, uh, <laughs> Van Gogh, Alex Jones, right? Because he's, he's a fucking artist. You don't turn that red unless you're doing something with your heart. <laughs> that's like, Good. That's, that's passion. And then they fucking killed him. And during the pandemic, he got replaced by all of these like conspiracy theorists that are just like grifters essentially they're all like math weenies that want to talk about like covid numbers every single one of them they're like subscribe to my sub stack and we can take a look at the charts and it's like take a look at the charts <laughs> suck my f tell the parkland shooting victims to their face that they're lying that's a conspiracy theory. that's conspiracy yeah they're like the uk health agency forgot to carry a one no 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 Barack Obama was having gay s for cocaine money during the Benghazi attacks. That's like music to my ears. He's so right. Except Alex Jones is so cucked now. I mean, this is something, this is, this is again, another fucking uh, Felix take, but it's true. He is so incredibly fucking cucked. My man is, my man went from like, you know, uh, uh, attacking George W. Bush and Barack Obama to like having a person that literally went on his broadcast, become the president, and he couldn't even ask him to fucking uncover like the 9-11 shit. You know what I mean? He's so cucked. It's sad to see the fall from grace. You know what I mean? It's just so sad to see some of your faves, some of your faves fall from grace so dramatically. You know what I mean? Thank you for killing Comtown so Nick can pursue his real passion, making Adam into a megastar. Bro, here's what I'll say about that, okay? Um, I know you're joking, but there's like all the worst Comtown fans unironically believe that this is a real thing. So please stop making that joke. You know what I mean? Like, I, I have no, I have no, like how, I, that's not a thing that I did. Okay, please. Like, there are literal fucking weirdos who are like, oh, Stavi went fucking SJW because he's hanging out with Hassan. 
And and like obviously there's like normal come town fans, right? The chill ones, and then there's like the fucking other side that uh, routinely uh, uh, think that like Nick is uh, his close and personal best friend, their close and personal best friend. Okay. Anyway, I don't even know what Come Town is. Plus, it's it, it's gone anyway. It's the there's a new show in town. It's called the Adam Friedland Show. So, Nick likes you and thinks you're hot. Maybe too hot. Fuck does he mean? I mean, he he's hot. It's bullshit. Uh. Anyway, bro, Star is gonna be dead in a year if he doesn't start taking care of himself. He'll be fine. But yeah, I do like that. Uh, I do like that Nick is doing this stuff though, where he's like posting his fucking stand up bits. He's like going out, doing more stand ups, uh, and and posting the stand up bits on his TikTok and shit. Be good. We got some good ones. Um, there was one on the understood. I this one was good too. I think it was with. I didn't know like FOMO. I'd never had that feeling in my life. Initially, I thought somebody was just putting a little stink on the word. I was like, come on, guys. <laughs> Come on. I didn't know what it was until I saw that fucking capital ride. And I was like, ah, I should have been there. I should have been there. Not because I share any politics with those guys, but intellectually, that is my fucking zone. 100%. 100%. Wildly overconfident. No reason to be. Expecting zero consequences for my, like, fucking egregious actions. Everybody that went there that day drove there drunk, guaranteed. <laughs> they were leaving the house while some teary woman tried to paw their keys away from them. They're like, please don't go. He's like, I'll be fine, bitch. I'm going to go kill Mike Pence. I'll be all right. Don't worry about me. I've, I've done this shit a million times. Don't worry about me. I never understood. I didn't know. Like, <laughs> It's so good. Um, please share this with chat so we can get you actual good you laugh you lose content little bear and I don't want to disappoint you again sorry for spam yeah uh, apparently you guys made a new discord server or something but you do understand that like uh, when you make a new discord server and then you uh, promote it on stream now it's going to be like fucking weirdos that go in there right so I mean good luck have fun with that okay have fun have fun dealing with that now okay there you go have fun This is not a good idea. Uh, you don't know what you're signing up for when you do stuff like that. Have you seen the new Jew Believe It? In their own respective ways, Nick and Stop prove how much funnier people are when they have real working class poverty backgrounds compared to like the SNL set coming out of Harvard. Yeah. The thing is, there's not a lot of fucking... Dude, there is no good comedy out there. It just sucks. It's all fucking shit like this. So I'm just excited to see some dudes actually making people laugh. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, no, Nick is, Nick is very funny, obviously. Uh, like all the fucking older comics are so washed now. I feel like, have you watched new Bill Burr? I did. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. There was uh, there were parts of it that were like eh, but it was it was not his best. It certainly was not his best. Okay, um, it certainly was not his best, but it was still pretty decent. You know what I mean? Sam Kinison was good, but he was ableist. So I was like, promote my shit while I chill in your pool. Yeah. No choice always made sense to me because I don't like people telling me what to do. And I was just like, it's your body. Who the fuck am I to tell you what to do with your body? So that always made sense. All right. However, I still think you're killing a baby. <laughs> See, that's where it gets weird. It's not a baby yet. That's what they say, which 
may or may not be true. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. But I'll tell you, my gut tells me that doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's not a baby yet. That would be like if I was making a cake and I poured some batter in a pan and I put it in the oven and then five minutes later you came by and you grabbed the pan you threw it across the floor. <laughs> and I went, what the fuck? He just ruined my birthday cake. And then you were like, well, that wasn't a cake yet. <laughs> it's like, well, it would have been. If you didn't do what you just did, there would have been a cake in 50 minutes. Something happened to that cake, you cake murdering son of a bitch. Right? Pro-choice always been. Technically, it is batter. But ultimately, it doesn't matter. Because, you know. Anyway, nobody forces you to have an abortion. Yeah, exactly. No, it, 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 exactly. Please make my fringe cringe in front of 30K people. Thanks. We made this as 